Hello and welcome to another studio vlog. Although I'm not in my studio, I'm obviously in my car. I'm just leaving the house now. I'm on my way to the post office to drop off some packages that I packed up yesterday, but I missed the post office because they close at 4.30. So I'm gonna drop those off now. They just opened and then head to the studio. But we've got a good day today of a mix of things, making bar soaps. I have a huge order that I have to make um, two big batches for. And then whip soaps as well and a few more orders, wholesale, website. It's kind of like a mix of things. So I wrote down my to-do list before I left the house so I kind of could keep my mind clear. And I have to get to the studio pretty quick. I have somebody who is meeting me. She owns a gift box company, sort of those like really pretty corporate gifts, things like that. And she is looking for some products for holiday. So I have to scoot along, but I'm excited to spend the day with you guys. I think you guys are loving the studio vlogs, which makes me so happy because they're my favorite ones to film. Um, if you're new here, my name's Caitlin. I own a soap and cosmetics company called Fiorella Soapery. And I am documenting my daily life so you guys can follow along, maybe get some tips and tricks for your own small businesses along the way I post videos every week um, usually on Mondays but I am excited to have you along for the ride today and I'm gonna try and show you guys some new stuff that you haven't seen before okay so I've been here for like an hour my friend was here she came and did a little shopping she has a gift box company I think I told you that so we were just catching up we both worked at the company that I left um, my full-time job at so we were just catching up, um, so it was really nice, but I'm like so behind now. So I have to make two batches of bar soaps um, of my sugar and fig scent for a local charity who's using them in a holiday event. So I have to get to it going on that and mix up my lye so it has time to cool. And then I have to ship orders and yeah, um, I feel like a little bit stressed out. I was a little bit more prepared to be productive today, but you know what, it's fine. Life is too short and you gotta enjoy the time you spend with friends. So we are going to get started on mixing up our lie, like I said, and stop rambling, Caitlin, because you have a lot to do. flower shop while my lye cools down um, and also stops fuming so if you're not a soap maker when you mix lye and water you saw it gets super hot and it does emit fumes which are really not good for you so I usually take about 15-20 minutes outside the studio with the door and windows open just to make sure that the air is much nicer to breathe in so i get to hang out in the flower shop and i'm going to show you guys some of the really pretty flowers that lisa has this week because they're just oh, they make me so happy minutes and so the air quality in here is breathable and much safer so you still have to let the lie cool though it's still around 200 degrees and I like to soap below 120 degrees so I need to let that come down which will probably take a couple hours which means I have plenty of time to ship the orders that have to be shipped out I have been doing these samples I think I told you guys about this I'll show you I've been doing these mini samples so cute oh my gosh they're so tiny like here is perspective people are loving it and i had a couple videos on instagram i'm go a little crazy so i had like 100 orders um i think i've sold close to 740 of these little samples in three weeks maybe which is crazy um i probably underpriced them to be quite honest with you but i put them at a dollar i'm not losing money but I'm not, I'm not making money either when you add in like shipping and everything. But the good thing is now I'm starting to see that a lot of the people that ordered 
three weeks ago a bunch of samples you know for like a ten dollar order or whatever are placing significant orders so i think that this is working which is really exciting because when you own a business like a soap and cosmetics business where scent is so important it's really hard to describe it online and even though i you know smell something or like try to describe it there's nothing like smelling it yourself so the samples have been an amazing thing but on the flip side it's really hard to keep them in stock and i also don't want to cannibalize my business so i definitely need to restock but for the most part all these samples are sold so i want to get them out um and then figure out um what to do about restocking and i'll be doing holiday ones too so i feel like there should be a good amount of new ones up so i'm not really stressing about it but it is a great way to have new customers who might be hesitant to try my brand to try it for a minimal fee which is great so i'm gonna get to shipping the hardest part of my day is deciding on what to listen to and I think for the most part, I've been loving the 90s mix that Spotify makes for me. So I think that's what the vibe is today. If you haven't watched my other packing video, I put these stickers on literally every side. Well, I missed a couple. I'm gonna have to go do those. But um, I have, I just got an order, or I just got a um, message from a customer on Fair that said that all of her order soaps, the whipped soaps that I sell, the jars, were exploded, and that every single one was damaged, which I kind of find hard to believe because she said the box was perfect so i want to believe her obviously i don't think anybody would message me like that um i asked for photos i still haven't gotten them but this is like the headache of shipping how does everything explode in a box and the box arrives perfect like i just that's never ever happened to me before in three and a half years of shipping sorry there's a train it's my life, it comes by like every 20 minutes, I swear. Um, so, I am like a little bit frustrated as I'm shipping. I have done so much research and figuring out how to get stuff to places safely and I haven't had any issues in like a month and a half, two months. And so to have this happen is just like beyond frustrating. But like I said, I haven't gotten the photos yet, so we'll see. Just wanted to check in and update you on my stress level because it's just like so frustrating when things it's like when shipping is the problem and like you already pay so much money for shipping that it's just really really frustrating when you pay all that money and something doesn't get to somewhere safely and you've packed it like really really well so i just have like a little bit of a a mood today <laughs>
I just wanted to mention my shipping scale again. I mentioned it in another video and I'll link it down below because I'm obsessed with it. It's all from Amazon. I think it was like $30, but the reason why I love it so much is because it actually weighs up to 86 pounds and I was struggling. I was using this scale in the very beginning to ship all my orders, which is fine for my online business because nothing's gonna be like 20 pounds, but for wholesale, I can't weigh that. So this is amazing. I When I first started, I was using my bathroom scale. So upgrade. Um, like I said, link it down below. But if you do ship wholesale or heavier items, I highly, highly recommend this. It's great. It has different modes. You can hold it. So if you can't see the package, you can just hold your um, weight while the package is on there and then take it off and then it shows you how much it weighs. Hey, okay, wholesale orders are packed up. I had two, four, six, seven wholesale orders. Okay, so this is where we get really real. And I tell you all the mistakes that I just made today because I was about to go make the bar soap and I didn't heat up my oils. I've been doing this for almost four years and that's like a really bad mistake. So I'm gonna do my or ship my orders now while my oils are heating up, but I just wanted to share that with you guys because like I know it can be overwhelming when you're running your own business it's overwhelming almost every day and even though you see stuff i know you know like you see stuff online and people look like they've got their ish all together and it just makes you feel like you don't well <laughs> today i don't have mine together so i just figured i would share that with you because maybe you're having that kind of a day and you can find some peace in knowing that i can sometimes be a disaster myself so staying positive like i said i would all day but Oh my god, so let's warm up our oils so we can make the bar soaps and get home at a reasonable hour. made cold process soap before um, if something has a lot of vanilla in it like this pumpkin it turns a brown color so this is really new soap I just made this on Saturday and it's Tuesday and I'm just cutting it it's gonna get darker and darker and it's gonna turn into this isn't that kind of cool it really just forms the color as it dries out and it gets darker and darker. So it's not gonna be this icky yellow, it's gonna be this brown, which um, you really can't avoid that much in cold process soap. So I put some white without the fragrance and gold, and this is pumpkin, by the way, which is like obviously a bestseller in fall. <laughs>
okay, we did it, we're done. Well, I gotta clean up, which is like the worst part, but at least the soaps are made in the molds. I'm gonna buzz around real quick and clean up and head home, I'm so, so tired, um, but can't leave the studio a mess. I've been doing that lately with a couple things, not soap making, because that would be like an even bigger disaster, but a couple things, and I'm trying to be much, much better about leaving the studio clean for the next day so I can literally just jump in and start. So I feel like we've been pretty productive today. I worked a lot longer than I normally do, but that's okay, because it's holiday and I got stuff done. So I just got home, and whenever I get home, I immediately change into my comfy clothes. I have to be in my comfy clothes, and so, that's what I did, but I wanted to show you guys um, my to, my make list. I think I've shown this before, but I basically have my Excel spreadsheet of every. Okay, my husband just walked in and he doesn't really want to be on camera, so I just like snapped at him. But I'm gonna show you guys my Excel spreadsheet that is my make list. I'm gonna cross off all the things I did today. I'm trying to get into the habit of doing my to-do list the night before so that when I wake up in the morning or I get to the studio in the morning, I know what I'm gonna do right away. So I've only done it for a couple days, but I am going to just sort of do that now before I get into relaxation mode and just hang out for the rest of the night. It's 6.15, so it's still pretty early, but it's getting so dark out now. It's like totally winter weather and it's making me a little bit sad. But anyway, let me show you my spreadsheet. So. Today, I really didn't do that much as far as making product goes, but I did actually make these bar soaps. So take that out, edit that out, and um, figure out what I have to make for the rest of this week. So I'm gonna work on my to-do list and then just chill, but I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. It was a little crazy, hectic, and that's kind of how my days have been going, but I hope you learned a couple things, and if you liked something specific about the video, leave a comment down below so I can make sure to maybe elaborate on them, or if you wanna see different things from me. I am planning a studio tour, so that should be going up in a couple weeks. Hopefully, I'm gonna, waiting on one more thing. Um, but yeah, so as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.